Ebenezer was sent to get a bride for Isaac. Found Rebecca in a foreign distant land. She believed every word he told her. She left home following a man to a place she'd never been before. To marry a man she'd never seen. She loved to hear him tell about Isaiah. Following this camel train. to be a bride and there's going to be a wedding supper served in the sky that's just as sure to be as God is because it's his word Siku ya leo mimi ninatarajia hasa ushindi watoto hawa ambao tumelea sasa wawe na kwao makabili kulingana na neno wakamweshie Kristo ili wadumishe ndoa yao amen hayo ndio matarajio makubwa
tena alafu aende kuingia tena haleluya ah what about uh, our sister masi na kuzi dede yetu masi are you happy na fra let's see how happy you are what do you want
So let's, let's come back now. The Lord, Lord Almighty Father, you have, you have given us this scripture. It is so deep. And it is so hard. It is so white. And now we come, dear Father, for your help. As we start the process of learning this truth, in your name. Grant it, Father, that you will bless them as we continue. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So I ask you to, to, to stand up to do it. Ntauliza ni nani ambata beana unu sichana awe mke wa unu kijana? Kwa maungu, 
na ile jambo tulikuwa tunakusudia kufikia wakati huu wa leo kwangu ni furaha kuona kama wanaanisha kwa mwana amen dini nashukuru kwa familia ya mazi asandeni sana kwa kumulia mazi ili nikaweza kujipata kwangu sasa yeye ni mtoto wangu na nitashukuru nitaishi na yeye kama vile mlikuwa mnaishi na yeye amen tatu mazi congregation i do kupiga makofi amen ninachoomba kwetu bibi nyakati zote wakati wote wakati wa hali yote kama zote mnifundishe kuishia na kutegemea hiyo ndio jambo na suluhu ya maisha yenu bila hiyo utakuwa unaona milima mingi ambayo umeweza kutafuka bali mkimtegemea yeye ana uwezo wa kuwafikisha asante amen Yale nilabe we are gathered here to, uh, together in the sight of God okay. and the face of this company okay. to join together this man and woman kuunganisha huyu mwanaume na huyu mwanamke in holy matrimony katika ndoa takatifu which is commanded by the so to be honored among all men ambaye aliamrishwa na mtume Paulo ili kawende kuheshimiwa na kila mtu. Amen. It is therefore not by any to be entered into and advised. Na ipasi kuingiliwa na yote asiyepewa wasia wa kutosha or like ama kiupesi. So on that I can, I can say is that before no woman or man or boy can go and start in marriage Consult your pastors. Even John Aweka Kasema kijana mtoto yote advisable. Usiingilie hili jambo usipoenda ukaona mchungaji wako na akupe wasi wa kutosha. All your parents. Aba wazazi wenu. Don't enter lightly. Usiingilie kiupesi upesi. But reverend. Lakini kwa kichwa. Shoka. Na njia ya kiakili kimamu na njia ya heshima and in the fear of god na katika kicho cha mungu before you start kabla hujaanza all those things must take place yote hayo lazima yatendeke haleluya and i know these days what young people do they just sit there they woman there they go they talk to her they confirm and everything they just go to their pastor and say nime 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 pata mchupa na nimeposa na mbali This shows that you are not entering into it seriously. And it is disrespectful to the ministers who are uh, counseling you. Na hiyo ni kutoheshimu wale wa pili ambao wanawapa wasia. Amen. And in this holy state, these two persons present come now to be joined na katika hii hali ambayo takatifu hao wawili wamekuja ili waunganishwe there is anyone here that can show a just cause kama kuna yeyote legally or spiritually ambaye anaweza kuonyesha sababu ambayo ni ya kutosha iwe ya kisheria ama ni ya ya, ya kimaandiko why they should, why they should not be lawfully joined ambao waweza kuunganishwa kisheria in um, Lawfully joined in this holy matrimony. Let them now speak. Wacha waseme sasa. There's any one. Kama kuna yeyote that got an issue. Ambaye kuna that is all Lord. If these people should not be joined in in, in holy matrimony. Kama hao waweza kaunganishwa katika ndoa takatifu. And it is burning and it is true. Na hiyo jambo linasumbua na ni la kweli. Let speak now. Iseme sasa. Dada bode kuna yote watch to speak baada ya kuzungumza the pastor no 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 that that should not take place hiyo ni pasi tukie there anyone na yote yule inside pande huko kia ni center hapa katikati yo bode on my right pande wangu wa mkono wa ume at the back kwa nyuma there anyone na yote yule Out your ministers. 
If not, Kama Akuna, you are um, hereby requested to, to forever hold your peace. Hapa tunakuliza ukanyamaze kila kabisa ile. Hallelujah. So there is no impediment we can go we can go home. Hakuna kizuizi chochote ambacho kinaweza kutumia tusisonge mbele. Amen. There is no clapping of hands. I don't know what you mean. We have never been to a wedding. Hapa hujaenda kwa harusi. How many have been to a wedding? Wengi wapi wameshaenda kwa harusi? How many have never been to a wedding? You have always been, always, always been there. I don't know why you are behaving. Like, you don't know what's going on. Nini about the NLM? Nini about the supporters of us? And this we can face this. Yeah, I feel like that. Amen. So you witness the same as I joined, as, as I joined my hands. So, to the bridegroom, then answer after me, yes, I will call him then. Brother William Kemu Mutua, will you have this woman? Sister Masi Danu Philip. To be your lovely wedded wife. To live together in this holy state of matrimony. Do you promise to love and honor and church? And support in sickness or health. Na kumunga mkono katika ali ya hafi ya ama ugonjwa. So, talking about sickness. Zimunga kutu magonjwa. Yeah, it's not a very pleasant thing. Sija mbala kumedeza. But sometimes husbands change when the wife is sick. Lakini wakati mungine wanaunga na baliku wakati mungi ya kiwa mgonjwa. In this covenant you promise. Katika agano hili na hili. To support in sickness or health. Utamunga mkona kiyo mkona hafi ya na kiyo mkona Riches for poverty Maa utajiri ama umaskini And we will forsake all others Na utaachana na wale wala wake wengine All others Wale wengine And claim the only unto her as long as you live Na mshikamana na ye murali tu ako unaishi Yes I do Now to you, um, Sister Marcy Dan Philip. Marcy Dan Philip. To say yes or amen. Yes or amen. Will you have this man? That you call him alone. That William M. Mutua. Yet William M. Mutua. To be your lawfully, uh, lawful wedded husband. Kuwa mume wako wakindoa kisheria To live together in this holy state of matrimony Kuhisi pamoja katika hili Hii hali takatuki ya kiniandoa Do you promise to love Utahaidi kumpela Honor and cherish Kumtubu ya kumtunza na kumweshe And support in sickness or health Na umunga mkono akiwa mgonjwa ama akiwa na afya Riches of poverty Katika hali ya maskini ama utanjiri Forsake all others. Na wachane na wale wengine what? And claim the only to him. Na ushikamane tu na ye peke yake. As long as you both live. Mwani tu nyote mwaishi. Amen. Amen. Let it be so. Amen. Amen. So I will ask you, brother. To unveil her. Do you think you will tell me how to go for it? Go and share it. You must join me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on.
wewe unataka ikae. Hallelujah. What does the congregation say? By this token of a ring. By this token of a ring. To accept and willingly take you. To accept and willingly, willingly take, take you. <coughs> Sister Mercy Dan Philip. Sister Mercy Dan Philip. To be my wife. To be my wife. <coughs> and for sake. Oh, others. And for say, oh, others. And for say, oh, others. Not enough. Me back here in Guinea. Say my old capisa. And for say, and for say, oh, others. <laughs> And cling only to you. And cling only to you. Now. Uh, and cling only to you. And cling only to you. As long as we both live. As long as we both live. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus name. Sister, you also take the, the, the ring. I must see Daniel Philip. Confirm my marriage covenant. And hereby signify by this token of a ring to accept. And willingly take you, and willingly take you, Brother William Gaming Tour, to be my husband, to be my husband, my husband, and forsake all others. And claim 
only to you. Only. As long as we both live. As long as we both live. In Jesus' name, Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you all stand for a prayer? Let us pray for them. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, as, as it has already, already been said, this, this uh, kind of marriage is a, is a shadow, is a type. It's an example of one to come between Christ and his bride. Father, they have said their, their uh, uh, marriage covenant. Now I come, Lord, to bless them. Together with the blessings of their parents. Together with the parents, uh, the blessings of their pastors. I commit them into your hand with those blessings. That they may be fruitful. And, 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 and multiply. And contribute in filling this this wide this wide world. So that dear Lord Almighty it may be a house full of blessings. Take care of them, each and every one of them. As they as they continue from here, here, here and, and forward. As I commit them into your hands. That peace rule in their home. That joy rule in their home. Let the Bible rule in their own. Let the Holy Spirit be seen. He manifesting his promise. And he be rich in the lives of this marriage. <coughs> As I commit them and bless them in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Shall we give them a hand? Amen. 22. And this is um, Isaiah the prophet telling um, Aliakim what God is going to do to Aliakim. <laughs> and says, And the key of the house of David I will lay upon his shoulder so he shall open and none shall shut. And he shall shut, and now and none shall open. Now fungua nyumba ya Daudi itaweka begani mwake. Yeye atafungua wala hapana atakayefunga. Amen. Naye atafunga wala hapana atakayefungua. Amen. 
May the Lord add blessing the reading of His word. <laughs> Definitely, this is uh, um, the, the the type in the Old Testament. Uh, talking about our Lord Jesus Christ. He's the only one who can open and no man can shut. He's the only one who can open and no man can shut. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. That was a shadow of, of the Lord. And he says now he will give this man the keys to do that. Hallelujah. It was right a shadow. Amen. Talking about the keys of David. You know the David. A great king. Who put down, who put down a Goliath. A great king. Who fought many armies. A great king. Hallelujah. And a priest or prophet. Who one time went into the into the temple and ate the children. Which was made, which was made for the priest. Hallelujah. And and uh, it looked like uh, uh, those people wanted to accuse him. But actually, it was written in the scriptures. Hallelujah. So, therefore, this is talking about the, the time that we are living in. The ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ here on earth today. Amen. He is the one. Hallelujah. Who has given the key over. Hallelujah. Some of the keys he has, he has given to us. But this particular key. Hallelujah. He, he has it to himself. Praise be the name of the Lord. And you remember he said in uh, in Matthew uh, 28. I think somewhere 17 uh, uh, and 18. He says, All power has been given unto me in heaven and on earth. Everything belongs to me. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. So this is the time, this is when. The, the matter is taking place. As we see him in Revelation chapter 1, uh, moving around in the seven golden uh, uh, lampstands. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, yes, Christo. walking uh, between the lampstands. After the resurrection, mm -hmm. with all power in heaven and on earth, Amen. Amen. and that's what we serve. The one that we believe, the risen Jesus Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. The seven lampstands represented the seven church ages. Hallelujah. The one with the power and authority. Is the one we see moving around the, the golden camp, uh, uh, lampstands after his resurrection. Amen. Amen. Not before. No. Uh, the life that he lived when you know all the miracles he was doing and so on was preparation for Calvary and when he did that job on Calvary he died and he was buried and he rose the one we see in the church today is the resurrected Jesus Christ. Yes, Christ. Hallelujah. Yes. Ah, glory to God. Amen. 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 I love to know that my king is alive. Amen. He's so much alive today. Hallelujah. That, uh, that, that he can do for you anything. And it is so tragic. Now, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, uh, it is so sorry 
that somebody can be asked to, to come to Jesus and reject. Na ina isikitisha sana kwa mtu anaweza kuulizwa aje kwa Kristo na akatee. Na when this this fellow wakati huyu jamaa yeah died for you. Alikufa kwa ajili yako. Amen. This is the fellow who gave you jamaa who forgave your sins. Aliyekusamea dhambi zako. And then he, he is talking to you sasa anakuzungumzia wewe just as you are a sinner kama vile wewe mwenye ungali mwenye dhambi without hope without blessings bila tumaini bila baraka without nothing bila chochote kile an enemy to the kingdom of god na wewe ni wewe ni adui wa ufalme wa Mungu you know without us accepting Jesus as your lord and personal savior you remain an enemy of god bila kumkubali Yesu Kristo kuwa wa mokozi wa maisha yako wewe unasalia kuwa adui wa Mungu that he died for you na kwa maana alikufa kwa ajili yako and that is being very rude na hiyo ilikuwa mtu wa makuru sana. Somebody has come to to take you out of prison. Mtu amekuja kutoa katika gereza. Just imagine if you are locked up in the in the police station. Wewe umefungwa uko katika gereza. Some, somebody comes and pays for you. Mtu anakuja na anilipa and, and he has got a, a card that you should come out. Na kuna ile na kana wewe utoke and he's calling you to come out. Na sasa anakuja utoke and you stay inside. Na wewe unakaa pale ndani then I don't want. Unasema sitaki. Na no no. Have you seen one man like that? Ushaiona mtu kama huyo mmoja? No. La, the noble way of things. Je, hakika ya mambo? Haleluya. When somebody comes to redeem me, wakati mtu akija kukomboa hiyo prison, kutoka kwa kifungo. Amen. You are so glad. Una furaha sana that somebody thought about you. Kuna mtu ambaye alikuwazia. Haleluya. Here is one. Na hapa kuna mmoja. Yes, God power. Baya na nguvu to open for you kufungulia and nobody can shut you out na kuna yote ambayo anataka kukufungia god power ana nguvu haleluya amen even to shut you out hata kukufungia and nobody can open for you na hakuna yote anataka no church can open for you hakuna kanisa inaweza kukufungia no pastor preacher can open for you hata mubili aweze kukufungia no relative can open for you hata jamaa wa karibu aweze kukufungulia but this man god jesus christ lakini mtu huyu aitwa yesu kristo haleluya amen He is the one. Here and here. You know you have been in prison for a long time. Unajua umekuwa katika kifungo wakati muda mrefu and the man with the key is Jesus Christ is here. Na Yesu aliye nafungua hapo hapo and he can open for you. Na kufungulia. But first of all, he can open for you until you hear him say come. Lakini aweza kukufungulia mpaka umsikie yeye akisema jo in 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 Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 he says come let us reason na katika Isaiah 1:18 anasema jo na tushauriane let us talk wacha tuzungumzane although you have been my enemy ijapokuwa umekuwa adui yangu all this time wakati wote you've never thought about it aujae is wacha jambo hilo come let us reason wacha tushauriane let us talk it over wacha tuzungumze tuimalize even if your sins are as red as scarlet hata dhambi zako ziwe nyekundu namna gani i will make them white as white as snow utazifanya ziwe nyeupe kama sufu god of heaven mungu wa mbingu asking a sinner Akiuliza mwenye dhambi anandeliver asiani who by the word is an enemy of god kupitia neno yeye ni adui ya mungu is supposed to be judge and done away with eh hey, anapaswa hukumiwe na akufe but god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son kwa kile jinsi hii mungu alimpenda alimpenda huyu mungu wa kumtoa nayo whoever uh, comes and believes in him yote ajaye na muamini haleluya amina should not perish siangamie You have the chance today. You brother, you sister, you young, you man, wherever you are. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. You make that decision. Even if your sins are a crimson hata dhambi zako ziwe nyekundu kiasi gani i will make them white as wool zilifanya ziwe safi kama vile sufu amen what a god mungu aina jinsi gani what love upendo wa jinsi gani that he can talk to somebody who is dirty and clean and so on ambaye anaweza kumkuta mtu ambaye ni mchafu na yeye ni mwovu amen 
destined for hell ambaye anaelekea kuzimu and talks to him na anazunguka na yeye says it doesn't matter how you are ana mwambia ajalishi jinsi ulivyo just come the way uh, you are i will clean you up and make you white as white as snow Amen. Come out of prison. Toka ndani ya hicho kifungo. Hallelujah. Come out. Toka. I will make you free. Ndafanya kwa huru. Make you clean. Ndafanya kwa msafi. So therefore this key we are talking about. Sasa kuhusu hizo fungo ambazo tunazungumzia. Hallelujah. I'm talking about that the bride has made uh, the the feast ready. Tunazungumzia kwamba bwana harusi ameanaa ile karamu. Ready everything is ready. Kila kitu kiko tayari. Everything is ready. Kila kitu kiko tayari. Everything is ready. Kila kitu kiko tayari. For them to our coming means that everything is ready. Kwa hiyo bwana ndio chacho kila kitu kiko tayari. Hallelujah. Amen. But again here, again hapa pia we want to talk about this key. Because our brother William here has got responsibility. Kwa sababu ndugu yetu hapa William hapo ana majukumu. Amen. To make everything ready. Kutayarisha kila kitu. Kiwe tayari. So that the bride and we were invited can enjoy. Kwa ajili ya biarusi na wale ambao tulikuwa tumealikwa tunaweza kufurahia. Amen. So the Uh, I will, I'm, I'm reading from church ages. He said the prophet says yeah, yeah, say that the, the, the way to understand that scripture is to go back and see where that key is placed. They are placed on the shoulders. On the, on, on the shoulders of the king. Not in the hand. Simi kononi. Amen. Not uh, like a necklace in the in the neck. Si kama vile ushanga kwa kwa shimbo. Hallelujah. But it is placed on the shoulder Amen. of the king. Lakini zimewekwa mabekani mwa mfalme. Amen. And, and and not in the in the hands of any other person. Na zikawekwa kwa mkono wa mtu wae yote mwingine. But he and he alone. Na zimewekwa kwake na kwake peke yake to use that key. Kutumia hizo funguo. Because him alone is the one that can open. He's the only one who can shut. And nobody else can do the other way. Mm. Nobody can open for you or close for you in that manner other than the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen here. This is your day. Just like it is a day for this too. Kama vile hivyo siku ya hawa wili to join together. Unganishwa pamoja. But remember, lakini kumbuka it will be a, a big mistake if after this uh, maybe a few days when the Lord comes you are left and then you go to heaven. Haicho kwa makosa makubwa baada ya hili na siku chache bwana aje na wewe uelekee kuzimu. Amen. Saponi is so that iko mabegani mwake. Alleluia is upon the authority of this uh, government. Ni juu ya mamlaka ya serikali yake. Coming out of a wedding ceremony like this. Kutoka kwa harusi kama hii. A wedding like this. Harusi kama hii. There is a change of roles. Kuna akubalishwa akubalishana kwa yale majukumu. Or exchange of obligations. Yale kubalishana kwa majukumu. Alleluia. Amen. So the wife You, you hear that the wife should love the husband and should obey him and so on and so forth. And has left everything to go to, to, the, to the husband. Amen. And, and the husband is supposed to take the obligation. Because he has been given. It is you don't walk into a marriage free like that. There is a change of obligation a change of rights na zile haki zinabadilika and things like that just like if you accept Jesus as your personal savior you change your rights and he takes obligation 
that right ya kuruka after you eh ili aweza kushukia for you kukulinda to heal you kukuponya and many other things like that mengine kama hayo it's not just me say oh i, I accept and uh uh-huh. yeah. something that takes place in between there hapo katikati kuna mambo ambayo yanatendeka haleluya and that is why na hiyo ndio sababu if you move into it unadvisedly ukiingilia hii chamo bila kupewa wasi you just think that it's just normal wewe unaona hii jambo ni la kawaida mke alafu unajua tu wewe mchombo cha kwenda kulala kitandani na bus no no it's a heavy responsibility ni jukumu ambalo ni zito haleluya it's a heavy responsibility jukumu zito that's right so christ has made everything ready kristo ametayarisha kila kitu amen Okay so when the bride has been committed to the bride to the groom wakati bibi harusi ametolea kwa ajili ya harusi like what you have seen here kama vile umeona she takes off her veil anatoa ile anaondoa ile shida normally they do they take that uh, whatever they put on the wanachukua shela on the on the groom something like that but in, uh, in the past where that tradition comes from katika huo kutokana na hilo jambo mahali ambayo ilitoka they used to take everything walikuwa wanatoa kila kitu yeah the day hiyo shela yeah they put on on the on the bride on, on the groom wanawekelea juu ya huyo bwana harusi on the shoulders mabegani mwake amen meaning maanisha yeah. not just that i'm going to obey situ ya kwamba nitaenda kutii peke yake no la No not that only see you but like that she has willingly transferred her rights to him ya kwamba yeye kupitia kupenda kwake ameyana zile akitaka akamkabidhi into that transfer kai kubadilishana huko through that covenant kupitia agano hilo that this one now is my head just akikisha kwamba huu ndio kichwa changu amen and the responsibility and care na kule uh, yale majukumu na kushuhudikwa kwangu is upon this man you 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 and no god else na si mwingine yote i will love him tambeza okay for i will look after him eh nitakuwa kimtunza but lakini he also he pia takes full responsibility for me anachukua majukumu yote ambayo ni yangu and to care for me na awe na shuhudikia but i'm sick is the one to to look after to buy the medicine to take to the hospital to pay the medical bills and everything now i am free of that responsibility my mother is free of that responsibility my father is free of that responsibility from now on this is the one huyo ndiye atakuwa anashuhudia how sweet it is to trust in Jesus that way when i say yes is my lord he is my savior what am i saying all my rights i put on you yeah, you are the one to take care of me you look after me whatever i need no sweat hakuna kutoa god of glory wewe ni mungu wa dhuku you will surely provide for me hakika wewe utanipa kila kitu haleluya oh may god help us to understand this matter uh, in the physical like this and in the spiritual and if you have not accepted Jesus as your savior and you are here do it today your day of salvation is now who knows if you leave this place something can take place on the way what happens you need somebody strong Somebody powerful who has authority over heaven and earth that is my lord jesus christ Amen. praise be the name of the lord Amen. let us read from matthew uh, chapter 13 matthew 13 chapter 13 matthew 13 first one to 5 our brother and read Sikuni. Sana. 
22, 22, 22. Matthew 22, 1 to 5. <coughs> yesu akajibu akawambia, tena kwa midali, akisema, ufalme wa mbinguni umepanana mfalme moja aliyemfanyia manawe arusi. Akawatumwa watumwa, wake wakawaite waliwalikwa kuja arusini. Nao akakataa kuja. Mm-hmm. Akatuma tena watu wa pengine akisema mm-hmm. Waambie ni wale waliwalikwa Tanzania nime nimeandaa karamu yangu mm-hmm. ngombe zangu na vinono vimekwisha kuchinjwa yeah. na vyote vimekuwa tayari. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you can see this story. Unaweza kuona katika hadithi hii. All the parable. Ama hii medani. The Lord is saying. Bwana anasema, he knew some people before he even started preparing the feast of the marriage he invited them then he prepared when the, the feast was ready then he sent another message that everything is right the food is right the table is ready just come and, 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 and take part in this feast. Hallelujah. Listen here. This man is the one who chose those who are going to come. Hallelujah. He chose. And then he knew it would be so and so and so and so. And when they rejected, he said, okay, now bring everybody now, anyone who accepts. And this is where we and Gentiles come in. A wild kind of, of vine. Yeah. After, after, after those who whom he had invited rejected it. Blessed be the Lord. Yeah. They rejected it. And they made they made fun out of it. But listen, brother. You have a chance. I know you are not all saved in this place. Kuna wengine ambao walirudi nyuma kuna wengine ambao yani ni wagumu wenye mila na ushirikina A, Yesu ajali anasema ndio vile ulivyo utadiru na wewe nitakusafisha haendi kuita mtu ambaye yani tayari ana nguo tayari uko sawa ah hata ajui njia Pengine ndio sababu umekuja kwa mikutano hii leo. Oh, yes. Usikie kwamba Yesu anakupenda. Amen. Na anataka umkubali wewe. Awe Bwana na mwokozi wako. Na ukiingia upande ule mahali popote utakapokuwa pale kwa napasta na appointed to help you to clean up. Ambaye umepaa kwa kukusaidia ili wewe usafishe. Hallelujah. Now coming to this um uh, to to the case of Ephesians. He's talking about the predestinated ones and so on. And also in Romans, those whom he knew and so on. He knew who would accept. And today, he knows today you are, you are going to accept. That's right. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And when yeah, he knows that this man, this man is my friend here, or this woman will be my friend. It is, it is his choosing. Amen. William amechagua vimasi. Si choice ni yake. Nina, kwani ya kwani Masi alichagua? Hapana. Si William, kwani ni kwaje? Mengine mimi niko nyuma ya mambo, sikuizi ndio kina mama ndio anachagua. Wewe hapo umechaguliwa? Anasema ah. Ulichagua huyu? Ah. Mm. So she, the, the, the scripture says we, we, we did not choose ourselves or we did not choose him. It is him who chose us. Amen. 
It is our Lord who calls the bride. Amen. It's not the bride who calls the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And above all this kind of relationship, our Lord, listen, who is here today and you have never given your life to Jesus Christ, you have made a very big mistake. Because Jesus Christ, as you are hearing me, Yes, Mr. He loved you. He called you. But you have been uh, putting your hand uh, um, not, not accepting him. In addition, he died for you. Hallelujah. He shed the blood to wash you. To accept you, you to him. Well, and, and wash you with his blood. And he paid that price. Of those sins that are easily bedeviling you. The evil life that you are living, he paid so that you don't have to live that evil life. Yeah. If you call him, if you can only go to him, he will do it. Hallelujah. God now is calling you. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Oh, now we have called this, this lady. Uh, maybe on board. Maybe on WhatsApp. And whatever, whatever, whatever. And, and talk to her. And say, can we talk? But if, suppose he says, no, 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 don't joke with me. Don't joke with me. What do you think me? I'm so cheap, eh? Oh, take care. Take care. William would never have moved one inch. William would never have moved one But when he had, yes, who are you? William. William. William Nani. William Nani. Tua. Tua Nani. Gemu. What are you doing, Gemu? Hallelujah. Oh, you need to go to Flangi. Oh. Okay. That's a little bit of a Nani. By that time, we done your boy, your mercy, and I scared you. And I said, Why is this a lamb too? But I said, I'm going to say, I'm too dark. I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like. Yeah. 
And that's why the scripture says. The man. Yeah. Leaves his mother. Leaves his uh, father. And goes with the wife. And, and sets up another home. Hallelujah. So mothers and uh, fathers, please stay away. And friends. It's the choice of William. Hallelujah. To make a home what to be called a home. Hallelujah. A home where we can go and feel the peace of a Christian. Because it's a change of obligation. Hallelujah. Yeah. May God help you. Hey, and I know it is hot, but never mind. It's, it's better we are roasted here and somebody gives a life to Jesus Christ than for us to live and they go to hell. Hallelujah. So many times we don't realize what God is saying when you hear the preaching of any evangelistic message. You just hear and move on. Don't do that today. Make up your mind. Come away and backslide, make your mind. This is the time. Go and make things right. Oh, if you are a lukewarm believer, make your mind. Because Jesus died for you. And that death meant that you can never be, be lukewarm anymore. No, no. It's a shame. Yeah. Amen. How would it be if uh, this William, William would hear that uh, Marcy has backslidden from the promise of being a wife? Now she's going back to her home. And she has from from uh, let's say from Mombasa now, she, she has reached the big boy. Within an hour, she will be to day. After some time, he hears at Kigwesi, some people say, We have seen her at Kigwesi. <laughs> How will this man uh, feel? That's what you, you backslider, you have done. Now, whenever you go out there, the Lord hears this man has got deeper into the world, deeper into the world, deeper into the world, deeper into the world. Into the world. How, how do you think God feels? That the person that he said, now he's going the other direction. He sends an evangelist there to preach. But when I see me, I I am going to go to hell. When I see me, I am going to go to hell. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm Analewa <laughs> Now, we have a yes, we have a sister. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. 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 I'm not going
kama ni mchana mzima ah sikuiji anaonekana na simama simama sana na wanaume kila mahali kila mahali eh hey, hey, kima na bwana anapata report wewe ambao ulikuwa umeamini na unasema eh hey, unainua mkono damu ya Yesu sasa umeacha damu ya Yesu alafu unaenda na watu wadumia how do you think the lord feels Please don't think that the, the Lord is happy. So go and make things right. He says even if your sins are as red as scarlet. He will make them Uh, as white as you. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, but I find that I think uh, in me 10 minutes. Mm. So in this wedding supper, katika hii gharamu ya ndoa, the the prophet says, Biblia nasema, God, Mungu came by the way of the cross. Alikuja kupitia njia ya msalaba where his precious son paid the price. Mahali mwanawe wa dhamana alilipa ile gharama. Kama huyu si alilipa. Eh? Uwezi kwenda kuoa tu hivi hivi. Kuna kitu lazima ulipe. Ama ni si sote tulilipa. Si huyu. Eh? Wende anajua ile dola vile ngumu ilipo. Kutoa inamaanisha uh, anaona kuna kitu ambacho ni ni bora bora kuliko hiyo pesa. Kwa hivyo akalipa ili apate mas. Na Yesu akafa ili apate wewe na mimi. Amen. Amen. hiyo? Akaona damu yake si muhimu kuliko wewe. Akaona uhai wake si muhimu kuliko wewe. So you can't just walk away like that. Wewe ukaondokela jambo hilo hivyo hivyo. Asante sana. Um, you can't just walk away like that. Wewe tu kaiondokea namna hiyo. For somebody that has paid dear, yule mtu ambaye amelipa kabisa even his own life. Acha kupitia na maisha yake sasa. Na damu yake that to test great for you. Alipaswa aonje kaburi kwa ajili yako for you. Kwa ajili yako. And you walk away. Na wewe unaiondokea and you as heaven. Na ana mbingu and you as power to cleanse you. Na kwa nguvu za kusafisha. Yes power to heal you. Akona nguvu za kuponya. Yes power to feed you. Akona nguvu za kukulisha. Oh, you can't walk away like that. Wewe ukaondokea jambo hilo namna hiyo. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. So here we have our brother William here. Sasa tuko na Pay the price. And prepare everything for us. Can you imagine? Is it possible for for him to marry if she came this sister with a dirty dress? Angekuwa angekuwa na angalia sasa hii ni kazi gani tena? Kama mambo yameanza hivi, tuji nyumbani tutakuwaje? angemoa kweli angekuwa akikutana na yeye ni nyenye siku hizi sasa tukutane sema kukutana huko kwa kwa kutarisha pengine mazungumzo anaona eh hata nguo eh ziliwashwa miaka kadhaa iliyopita na kiangalia huyu ndio tutapeleka kwa mama huyu ndio tutapeleka kwa baba Ah, na nyanya. Ah. Hebu kwambie ndugu yangu. Leo ni leo. Amen. Ikiwa kama umepita kwa harusi kula pilau sawa. Lakini kuna jambo zaidi ya pilau. Uzima wa milele. Amen na kuna mmoja alikufa kwa ajili yako ili akukombole na na alitaarisha kila kitu ametaarisha mbingu iko tayari don't go to sinasemaje mbingu iko tayari si ni kweli 
Yeah, marriage supper of the Lamb is ready. Yeah, Calvary was paid for. The, the blood is over. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is there for you. To receive you once He cleanses you. Brothers and sisters are there to worship with you. And so on and so forth. Everything He has prepared for you. And you are not even there when He was prepared. Just like we were not there when they were preparing. Yeah? Amen. We are going to we, we, we are partakers of something that we know very little about. Even when we eat or drink. It is him. Yeah. It is him. Hallelujah. It is him who took, who took her to the registrar. So that they may allow me to officiate them. It is him who paid the price there. Hallelujah. And it would be very unfortunate that uh, Mass would say, ah, yeah, even if you have done that, I am going to my mother.
kwa sababu maandiko yanasema wa, wa kina mama wazee wafundishe wasichana kupenda waume zao na kupenda watoto wao and so on wanajua maneno hayo matamu ni William akija tu hata kama kule kazini ame sukuma nini na nini akifika hapo mlangoni tu anakuta tu maneno matamu azem hewala ni afadhali nimefika jamani eh hey, kule nimetoka ni kuzimu tu na tafishie kwamba umekuoa ni kuzuri kama maneno ni mabaya mume yaani mwanaume ugaidi ana regret kuoa kama vile Mungu aligaidi kumumba mwanadamu <laughs> siko maana sio mwanadamu jamii hata mawazo yake yote ni machafu sijui hata mimi sijui kwa nini mimi nilimuumba huyu mwanadamu usifanye <laughs> hivyo usizungumzie matamu matamu ili uende za hati kama kwa kiwa mungu mm. ukiona kama pesa inazidi sana endo pige maguti pale kwa mungu za mungu nisaidie niliki mdomo wangu nika kili zangu haleluya damu yako he 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 yule mme atasikia ile maombi ataenda kukaa kanza sana ile maombi sijui ni nini ambayo imetendeka sitaikuwa hapo eh hayo atatulia lakini akiluka juu na wewe nawe na juu naye juu naye juu ah atakuwa moto hapa enjoy smile it's a good covenant kama jema kwa nini sasa hata ni kwa unielewa ndio sasa zote kulisha wa kaume zenu maneno makali makali kwani hakuna wazee kweli wakina mama ambao wanaanza kuonyesha zile za kuzungumzia mtu wenu vizuri paka afurahie hakuna kama hakuna fanyeni oda huko wako huko Mombasa tunaweza kuoda alafu tukawatumie hapa gani bwana ili eh hiyo mzee akae na amani Kristo naye yani haitaji mambo mengi haitaji mambo mengi bwana anakupenda unajua moyo wako unakuishia wewe kabisa ndio Mungu wangu ndio bwana wangu mwokozi wangu msaada wangu wakati nikiwa na shida hata unasikata kabla sijaomba wewe tayari umenitimizia hata akiwa mbali ati ati umesema nini tumesikia maneno matamu matamu ya kusifu ya kuingilia eh namna hiyo hata usimuuze mengi hayo tu peke yake atakuja pale sasa angojee kwani unataka kusema nini hata kama anajua lakini hizo sifa sitamvuta pale. Amen. So he prepared everything for us. Alikuangalia kila kitu kwa He is inviting us. Na anatualika sisi to his kingdom. Kwa ufalme wake. And our brother has invited us to his wedding. Na ndugu yetu ameyatualika kwa ajili ya harusi yake. And he has prepared everything amejarisha kila kitu the things are outside there vitu zikoko nje and many others na zingine nyingi haleluya amina and Jesus has, has prepared for us na Yesu Kristo ameandaa kwa ajili yetu and he wants you anataka wewe to make your mind upaye maamuzi yako everything is prepared there's nothing you don't sweat in the kingdom you are just everything he has prepared hapo uh, uh, ndani kila kitu ameandaa yeye yeah. bwana he just wants you to just come as you are anataka tu huje jinsi ulivyo 
Let us pray. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, see the hands that have been lifted up. And I pray, dear Lord, that you will see them. That this day, the scripture that we have read should be fulfilled. So that these people may be part and parcel of your life. It is you who have called them by the preaching of the word. It is you who have corrected them in the preaching of the word. And now they have come to you. May you, dear God Almighty, cleanse them by the washing by that word. Through the blood of our Lord Jesus. Christ. They go wherever they are, they are to be in the hands of faithful preachers. To guide them through. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And also, um, the power entrusted to me. Under the marriage uh, covenant of 2013, the Republic of Kenya. Amen. I want to pronounce this man and this woman now husband and wife in the name of the Lord Jesus. William gave in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So if we are happy, let's claim for them. They are now joined as husband and wife. Let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I commit this house now into your hands. It is a it is a shadow of the of the of the bride and the bridegroom. May you bless them, Lord. And make them fruitful. Let them, dear Father, contribute to multiply once replenishing this earth. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bless them as they go out in their new home. Be there ahead of them and, and protect and keep them safe. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.
Maki Saidi wa tunamaliza harusi. Mimi ni nafraa sana, mbaya ina gifani. Uwa ni miakamilika leo. Eswari ilikuwa ndefu enye. Milima mabonde, lakini ni mshamu para. I'm going to love my love.